What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Avionics back with another action figure review. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the WWE Ultimate Edition Ric Flair made by Mattel. Now Ric Flair is part of the Wave 9 action figure set. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin is also part of this wave. Alright, so we're going to take a look at packaging. We're going to take a look at everything Ric Flair comes with, his articulation, and my thoughts about him. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so here we have the packaging. It's quite a tall box, but it's got a nice big window for you to see the figure and all the accessories. Up atop says Ric Flair for ages 8 and above. Down here we have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo, Mattel logo. Ultimate articulation for authentic posability. Around the side here, we have a promo shot of the real Ric Flair. On the other side, just says Ric Flair. Other side, and then on the back, here we have a nice comparison of the real Ric Flair and then the uh, figure. So you can take a look at how how well they've actually sculpted the head sculpt to look just like Ric Flair. And then here we have his stats. He stands six foot one in real life from Charlotte, North Carolina. His finishing move is the figure four leg lock and he is a 16 time world champion. He's the styling, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling and dealing, son of a gun. He's every woman's dream and every man's nightmare. He's the one and only nature boy and if you don't like it, learn to love it because it's the best thing going today. Woo! If you're an old head like me, he is one of the uh, classic wrestlers from back in the day. He's a classic era wrestler. All right, so here we have the figure, Ric Flair himself and all of his accessories. So all the stuff that he comes with, he does come with his own championship belt. Black belt with all gold sculpt and decoration. And then he does come with a second head sculpt, which is his very popular woo face that we have all grown to see and love. And just take a look at that close up. They've captured, Mattel has captured every single detail in his hair and his face. Mattel does a very great job doing their lifelike scan effects to make sure every detail is captured for their head and face. And he does come with a total of three sets of hands. So the hands that he comes with out of the box are a nice grip hands to hold like microphones and other accessories. And then he does come with one set of hands that are doing a pointing finger. And it has some tape around the index fingers. And then the third set of hands is in the sculpt of his hands kind of splayed out, all the fingers splayed out with his thumbs tucked in a little bit. But um, and it has more tape going around the index and some on the middle finger as well. And of course you can't have an Ultimate Ric Flair without having a nice soft goods jacket. It's nice and flashy just like he was back in the day. It says Nature Boy up there around the back of the collar. It is mainly pink with a dark magenta. And then it has actual like fur or mink fur around the collar and around the sleeves. And then it does have the, uh, the belt that you can tie around his waist. And then Ric Flair himself. Check it out. So this is the face sculpt that he comes with out of the box. Just a regular nice smile. Hair sculpt really nice. And then he has his uh, purple underwear with his initials RF right there. And going down he has purple uh, purple knee pads and then on the back of the knee pads they're like a, uh, a hot pink and then he has his pink pink boots and I'm, I'm, I really like the way they sculpted the boots and the laces look at that they've gotten every single detail and all the all the different folds when it's like kind of wrapped around his leg and then more of his initials RF right there on the bottom it has a white sole with two peg holes all right so let's go ahead and check out articulation so Mattel, they have a nice, silky, smooth articulation. Um, they are pinned, as you can see, but it's not, it's not so bad on the eyes because 
they move really these figures move really really well so his head that's a tilt up tilt down there's only one ball joint there's no neck joint and a little bit of a tilt to the right tilt to the left so not much action going down there as far as that goes but his head does go all the way around this is let's pop his head off so that is what his neck joint looks like and then the socket on his head so we can go ahead and switch his head out let's put his boo face on All right, moving down to his shoulders, we have some nice butterfly action going on right here. Nice, silky smooth, kind of loose, but it's nice and silky smooth. His, his shoulder joints go all the way around. And then we have lateral movement right there. We do have bicep swivel all the way around. We have double jointed elbows. And then we have rotation at the wrist and then swivel from side to side. Same thing, everything's the same on the right arm. Middle torso, we have a nice ball joint right here where he can just rotate and swivel around. He does rotate around at the wrist, 360 degrees. His leg will kick forward that far. Not so much going back, it's hitting his buttock. And then we do have thigh swelling all the way around, double jointed knees. So these, uh, these knee pads are not a permanent sculpt into the leg. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could remove that, but it can move up and down along his leg. But we do have double jointed knees right there. Then we do have a boot swivel. And then we have articulation at the, at his feet, foot up, foot down. And then we even have an extra toe articulation. And this isn't loose whatsoever, at least my figure is not very loose at this joint. So it's nice. He could actually, if you balance him quite well, you, he could actually be on his tippy toes, which is really nice. Everything is all the same going down his right leg. All right, so here we have Ric Flair with both of his pointing fingers. And then here we have Ric Flair with these set of hands. Now to put on his jacket, I find it's easiest to have his arms in this position to be able to slide the sleeves on and then all around him. And now we have Nature Boy in his robe or jacket on with his regular head sculpt back on and his gripping hands on and he is holding up his championship belt. Way to go champ. Woo! All right, so now time to do some scale comparison. So WWE Elite and Ultimate action figures are actually a 1 10th scale or a 7 inch scale. They are not 1 12th or 6 inch. But here we have Nature Boy Ric Flair with another Mattel WWE Ultimate Macho Man Randy Savage. And then to Ric Flair's left, we have another Mattel action figure from the Masters of the Universe Revelation line, He-Man. Here are another couple of 7 inch figures, NECA's Doc Brown from Back to the Future and Terminator. Let's do some six inch scale comparison with Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified Series Roadblock and Gung Ho. Now these two figures are taller than most of the other Joes because as you can see Cobra Viper and Cobra Trooper are shorter than Gung Ho and Roadblock making him way shorter than Ric Flair. And to throw some Star Wars six inch scale figures into the mix, Kylo Ren and Imperial Stormtrooper. These are Black Series figures. So yeah, if you're as old as I am and grew up watching WWF religiously back in the day, now consider WWE, Ultimate Edition Nature Boy Ric Flair is a must have to add to your collection. Great accessories, great look all around, great face sculpt, hair sculpt. He articulates very well at all the joints to include the awesome toe articulation. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up our review on Nature Boy Ric Flair Ultimate Edition. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Please leave all your thoughts and comments down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future action figure reviews like this. Woo! Woo! Stop! We can't take anymore!